During these times, things may be unclear. If you're struggling in your life, I encourage you to turn to God's word. There's an end time harvest cycle that's going on. Jesus wants to bless each one of us with revelation, love, faith, and power. Seeds that will grow and produce fruit until Jesus comes back. And you're probably asking, what does that mean? There's going to be an end time harvest cycle. And I pray that you will walk in a new awareness of authority that you have in Jesus. That you will experience a new depth of love and commitment to God in a new relationship with your brothers and sisters in Christ. And that you will have a new, greater bond of love. that you will begin to step out in faith in Jesus Christ to lay hands on the sick, to witness and to cast out demons. And through his Holy Spirit, that you will have a new awareness to that power through Jesus. Now I've shared in some of my stories, a few of my prophetic dreams a few of the horrible realities I had as a child. And some of you are still asking, how on earth did she come this far? How on earth did she make it? Well, as a child, I witnessed a lot of abuse. And I don't talk about it a lot, but I witnessed a lot of demonic presences around me, a lot of things that were not of God, but I truly believe that demonic entities were trying to keep me isolated, keep me from relationships, keep me from making money. They were trying to keep me from progressing in my life as a Christian. And I knew about Jesus when I was a small child. But more so recently, there's been an awareness in my life to things that I cannot express as a human being because they're spiritual. I can say that when I was 15, almost 16 years old, I had an encounter that forever changed me. I was slammed against the wall by an entity. I went into a grand mal seizure and my best friend at the time, all she did was stand there and laugh at me. It literally left an impression in the wall behind me. It put a hole in the wall where the entity slammed me up against the wall, trying to take over my life. I was very sick after that. Moving forward years later, after being shot and seeing things that people normally don't see, Jesus has shown me through prophetic dreams things that are going to happen, things that are happening now, things that are going to happen in the future, or things that I need to work on spiritually. So I encourage you, if you're experiencing any of these things since I've been talking to you, I lift you up in prayer. I don't know your name, but I do know that Jesus wants to come into your life that Jesus will do what he says he will do. We will see him in full glory and power sitting at the right hand of God. 
we will know right now before this great tribulation comes to a full throttle tilt that things have to change that his people have to get strong they have to learn how to eat properly they have to learn how to get the right amount of sleep and they also have to learn to care for those around them and that means believers and non-believers if you're a, if you're a friend of a friend and you're a believer and your friend of the friend is not a believer pray for them most times I pray for the items that they touch so that they can know first of all that Jesus is real I usually just say Jesus whatever that person touches if I've had anything near me that's theirs and I've touched it let them know you're real. Send your angels to minister to them, and he will do it. Send your angels to wake them up at 3 o'clock in the morning so that they'll pray. So that they'll pray for you. So that they'll cry out to you. And they will reach out to you.